Hello, this is Compound Interest Stock Guy. Today in this dark side, I'm going to review seven stocks in the cannabis sector that I think are fairly safe in this environment. But again, they all have lots of risks in the cannabis sector. So I'm just sharing my information. So stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, don't be shy. Subscribe. I appreciate it. Give me thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, I wanted to disclose I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment information purposes. Do not buy or sell based on anything I talk about. Buy or sell after you did your own research, due diligence, and you like the investments you're pursuing. All right, so I'm just uh, in my car, and I just went for a little drive. It's nice out. See nice stars over there. It's a little bit of a, you know, some exciting thing to, to do right now when it's really boring around. Uh... You know, a lot of stores are closed. You can't go to coffee shops. You can't really go to the, the gym. All these things, they're closed down. So, yeah, so I got some Mad Max style kind of crazy videos talking about some conspiracy theories and things that uh, different, uh, you know, cryptocurrency that the government could, could entail and uh, force upon the people. So, anyways, this is video. Let's get started company i'm not going to rank them in order i'm just going to say one would be tilray and uh they're kind of a notable mention i don't think they're the most secure company but you know they're always able to be getting lots of cash and they got the deals with uh, novartis and abinbev and uh, i just think uh, with all this fed stimulus money it's very likely that some of that money could get pumped into tilray in the future they just have those connections um, through through their privateer holdings uh, connections. That's my opinion. Another company is CGC or Weed because they got the 1.5 billion in cash to kind of keep them afloat, and then they can acquire uh, companies that are hurting because this uh, COVID is uh, gonna really destroy some companies. Uh, we haven't seen it yet, but we could see some of these uh, places shut down if a potential someone's got the COVID and uh, you know Health Canada go crazy on them and then shut them down for three months and they're fucked if they got no cash so that's uh, the real predicament that we're in and that's why no stock in the sector as well as miners you know you got really great miners uh, Pan American Silver, Freeport McMoran and they getting some of their minds shut down due to this stuff so there's really no safe company in any industry in my opinion uh yeah some of the coronavirus stocks are doing pretty good but there's still you know another company could have a better thing or whoever they decide to, to make a deal with the government or whoever who's doing all this so but another stock yeah cgc another stock would be afria Afria because they got about 600 million in cash and then they got their pretty good player in Canada for the rec market uh, Another company would be Village farms, but they're not really that safe because they don't have a ton of cash, but they also do tomatoes and hemp So they're not just in cannabis. So they're a little uh, Little safe that they have a few different areas that they can move their business and sell products so uh, I could see uh, produce go up in price. Their tomatoes potentially go up a lot in price due to this situation. But we'll see. Especially with the dollar gets a lot weaker with all this uh, Fed injection money. Uh, another stock would be Valens, uh, VLNS or VLNCF in America. Because they don't spend a lot of money and they're making profits. But their only problem is they got to get money from the LPs and get... Uh, lower their accounts receivable so that's kind of what they have to deal with and and uh, as well as another company Metafarm Labs is fairly safe as well because they don't you know they don't lose money that much um, for their cash and they got a decent amount of cash position so I think they're pretty safe and uh, Kronos uh, C-R-O-N I think Chrono is very safe with uh, about 1.5, 1.6 billion in cash, and then the business that they're growing. 
So, uh, yeah, I think those companies are fairly safe. And I also think that True Leaf, T R L U L, is also very safe. Um, but they don't have a lot of cash, so that's their predicament. But they are selling a lot of product right now. I saw last week they sold 1,000 ounces um, in a week. That's a lot. And um, also they do, you know, they got distilled vape pens and other things that they, or tinctures and stuff that they sell from THC's milligram and CBD milligram. So that's pretty good. And uh, as well as uh, Liberty Health Sciences, LHS, I think is pretty good. They have a pretty decent cash position. Not huge, but they're not, you know, they're growing their business. So I think they could be okay. And uh, another one is probably Planet 13, PLTH. But, you know, they're also kind of not going to be able to sell that much. So I, I actually would kind of black them out on the list as far as companies that can really um are in better position to uh, you know handle the situation because a lot of these companies are going to get exterminated and they're going to be destroyed in the next six months or so based on um the situation going on so those are companies that i think are aren't going to be destroyed uh you know they'll be around but uh they can still go down in price uh but they can go up as well um it's hard to say. I mean, where if uh, Canopy really starts to get some momentum, um, you know, I wouldn't mind getting some long-term call options on Canopy. Uh, I think you know a year, a year tw- uh, expiration, and maybe a few like twenty-dollar strikes. So if it goes to fifty or sixty dollars by that time, you make pretty good money. So that's just an idea. Again, uh, options are always risky. But it, the longer you have them expired, um, that that you have the time on them, the better off. But they can also be a safety thing because if you think about it, um, you know, if you were buying, say, like $4,000 worth of uh, Tilray stock and you only wanted to, you know, you wanted to have it for this year, right? You don't know how they're going to do next year. Then you could have, you know, back when it was $40, you could have paid for like six months for the stock and paid maybe like five or eight dollars per share so you'd pay like eight hundred dollars right and then so you spent eight hundred dollars and then it went all the way down to two dollars and thirty cents or two fifty cents so then you could have bought it when it's like three dollars and have that same amount of shares so you'd eventually you'd only spend the eleven hundred dollars right for having all those um the options for the forty dollar strike so or you could have sold the the expiration earlier when you realize like it it wasn't going to be in the money and um, maybe uh, only lose like half your money on that like maybe four hundred dollars but you add like four hundred dollars plus the three hundred dollars you spend seven hundred dollars so that's why options isn't always a bad idea if you if you uh, want exposure in that stock but you don't you don't want to i mean if you buy a stock at all-time highs or whatever or close to all-time highs there's that high possibility that it can go a lot further down so anyways those are the stocks uh tier ul liberty health sciences lhs i think, believe is like lhsif and uh also tilray t-l-r-y and cron c-r-o-n uh afa a-p-h-a and cgc weed and uh, VFFF, so those are the top seven, and then um, Notable uh, as well added to the list. So these are just cannabis companies that I think can weather the storm. Uh, a lot of these other companies, you having um, CEOs that are leaving, and um, you know a lot of companies are gonna just be decimated in this, and uh, there's just too many LPs around. I mean, I think some might may get acquired. Um, I saw the deal with uh, Abacus, ABCS, and I have a sh- I'm a shareholder of them, so I'm going to be part of Charlotte's Web where, if that deal gets done, and I'm okay with that. I think Charlotte's Web is a good player, so um, you know I'll get 0.8 of a share of Charlotte's Web, and I think that's good for Charlotte's Web because Charlotte's Web can just uh, make more and more uh, topical CBD products and. Uh, CBD Medic is pretty good of a product line. So 
that's good for for uh Charles Webb to kind of expand and I think that'd be very you know it it'll, it'll give them a chance to be a global leader in the CBD space because now they they're working on the topical CBD as well as just you know um hemp oil and stuff like that CBD hemp oil so uh I didn't include Charles Webb but there's um uh, you know I think they're not a bad player but I I think their cash position is fairly low and uh but I mean I think they they can be okay. I don't think they're going to get they're going to die, but the whole merit of this video is just to explain that there's a, a lot of risk with a lot of these stocks that are, you know, sub 25 cents to be decimated in the future. So, I'm just sharing my information. Anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for if you're subscribed, uh, I want to thank all my subscribers and um thanks my viewers and I uh, uh, appreciate if you give me a thumbs up as well and uh, leave a comment down below and uh, until next time shaka cup peace i'm out